Hi, I'm Abe Hole, and I'm the manager of the Kenyan Chicken Project. The Kenyan Chicken Project, or KCP, is a nonprofit that I founded to help malnourished children in Kenya. For every $15 that are donated to us, we buy a live hen from a poultry farm in Kenya and give it to a Kenyan family in need. I'm excited to explain all the details and show all the work that has gone into my nonprofit. So let's start by looking at our website. This is the Kenya Chicken Project's website. Our mission statement is providing food for families in Kenya, one chicken at a time. So what's the issue? The background of the Kenya Chicken Project. Um, in Kenya, more than 1.8 million children are currently suffering from chronic malnutrition. This means that over one in four children under the age of five in Kenya don't get enough food. Uh, the high levels of food insecurity in Kenya have forced many children to drop, drop out of school and find employment to raise money for food. This leads to lower education rates, which affects Kenya's economy and society. The KCP is focused on addressing this problem, and we've partnered with several other nonprofit organizations, primarily Save the Children, and we've uh, created a way to make a difference. For every $15 that are donated, we give a live hen and 200 days worth of chicken feed to a family in need in Kenya. Here's a diagram that shows how our nonprofit works. For every $15 that a customer donates, we buy a live hen and 200 days worth of chicken feed from a local poultry farm and um, give that to a family in need. We researched many breeds of chickens and decided on the Kerry Improved Kenyeji chicken. These chickens were developed by the Kenya Agricultural Livestock Research Organization and have much higher egg laying rates than other chickens. When fed with the specially formulated feeds that the same poultry farm also supplies, the Kerry Improved Kenyeji chickens are guaranteed to have fast growth and an optimum egg production rate, making them ideal for our nonprofit. Moving on to the donation page, customers have four options that they can choose from. They can choose to donate five chickens, 10 chickens, or 20 chickens, and those all come with 20 days of feed per chicken, or they can choose their other, which allows them to choose their own specified amount of chickens. As you can see, this website makes it very straightforward and convenient for people to donate money to the Kenyan Chicken Project. In order to understand why the KCP is necessary, we need to know some background on the country Kenya itself first. Kenya's government is led by the chief of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, who is also the head of government. The government type is Presidential Republic, which is made up of a legislature branch, and a judicial. The capital is Nairobi. Kenya is a total of 580,376 square kilometers, which is mainly land. This is about twice the size of the state of Nevada. Their climate varies from tropical along the coast to arid in the middle. As for the economy, Kenya is East Africa's economic, financial, and transport hub with a GDP growth averaging over 5% over the last decade, despite weak governments, poverty, and corruption. Um, their total trade exports are nearly a third of their imports, which means they have a bit of a trade deficit. And their main trade partners are Uganda, Pakistan, the US, Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and Tanzania. Kenya has a population of 535 million, with a growth rate of 2.2%. They have a very mixed ethnicity. Um, their main language is English and also Kiswahili. The vast majority of the people there are Christian and attend church regularly. Um, only 27% of the population lives in urban settings and 81.5% of the country is literate. Now that you know about Kenya as a whole, my nonprofit will be focusing on Nairobi, this country's capital, and more specifically, a slum in Nairobi called Kibera. Nairobi is located in the southwestern center of Kenya, 
And although it's landlocked, it's still very easy to transport goods into the capital. Nairobi's climate is usually between 55 and 80 degrees, which falls perfectly in line with the optimal climate for laying hens. Marketing for our nonprofit has two sides. We need to get the word out and get people to donate money for our nonprofit, but then also in Kenya, we need to raise awareness and let families know that they can receive res support from us. Our website that we showed earlier will work great for getting the word out to people in America, but because of the economic state in Kenya, we will need to use other methods to let families know that they can receive support, such as flyers, posters, and billboards. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and please consider making a donation to the Kenyan Chicken Project today.